Hello everyone, we are back for Slay the Princess, and just remember, this is a psychological horror game, so really I have no idea what could be the worst part about it uh, regarding some things that may trigger people, but that being said, remember, this is a love story. So, load game. We are going back to here, remember the whole uh, spoiler alert, I guess if you haven't watched the first one, go ahead and watch it because there's a lot that happened, uh, including what this is. <laughs> what she is or what it is and so now we are going right back into it looks like where the story should start technically so we'll see if this really does become a love story so again welcome the name is Seaforest let's just head You're on in here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world all right now let's see if we have any voices in our head I don't remember that's like whoa hold up we've been here before so no okay so the end of the world, what do you talk about? Have you only considered? Okay, so it's back to the original sellings. Uh, forget this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? We'll try that. We'll try and be. <laughs> people love you. Um, I'm interested in just silently going for it, but let's be depressing. <laughs> let's be a depressing monster because we're obviously not the hero technically. So. Of course I haven't. <laughs> Nobody wants the world to end. But I'm a monster being, and I kind of do. I mean, maybe some people do. <laughs> Nihilists, or very, very evil people. Uh-huh. Surely you're not one of those. That's a new I word. <laughs> don't think I learned that in the English. Oh, uh, the end of the world, what are you talking- Ooh, what if I just confuse the narrator? The end of the world, what are you talking about? <laughs> They're considered, uh, because she's locked up, uh, can I see bad? Do I get a reward? Again, I'm not doing this. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. We're gonna try and confuse him. I'm talking about the end of everything as oh. we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. Okay, he has said this before. You have to put an end to her. Okay, but I want the world to end, though. Um. Okay, this one. Uh. But how can a princess locked away in a basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. But I am. I'm going into the lore of this. Get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. But I'm a monster. Why is it me? Uh, okay. Uh, have you considered killing? Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, it's good that maybe no. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any evidence to back this up? You're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important mm -hmm. task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. But I have technically, so let's see. Uh, have you considered... <laughs> Can someone else do this? Oh, if only that were the case. <laughs> I don't make the rules. But you're the... Oh, this is so confusing to me. We are a monster. It's like confusing to realize the lore, like the actual gravity. The, the ending we got last time was weird in itself. That was kind of like fourth wall breaking, but also like, what what are we though? Um, the narr I'm trying to figure out the narrator because he knows, but then doesn't know, then doesn't want to tell us. But then like, if that was the only, like, but I don't make the rules, but like, dude, why am I here? I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. <laughs> But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one. Now, what if I just leave? Like I said, uh -huh. I don't make the rules, no matter how much I wish I did. But then why are you talking to me and why are you the narrator? Um, now what if I do this? We're going to go totally, we're going to try and not go towards the cab. We're going to try and do everything to go away from it, change our fate, so to speak. Seriously? He <laughs> just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? No, I don't even know where I am, technically. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. You're persistent. Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe I won't. Yes, I'm def- Lie. I definitely know where I'm going. Nope. Uh, the only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. It's like I said, I'm pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming. I'm gonna do this one. Of a new dawn beyond her own. Quietly. I'm still going to definitely do a whole quiet thing. Pretend I don't even hear him. But I'm going to do this one because that's what I said first. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Well, I'm sorry, but she's technically still down there, so she can't really 
escape, technically speaking. Huh. Aha! I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Aha! We're changing our fate. Good. What we're being Aha. asked to do here is wrong. Hello, hero. Better Welcome back. Better wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. So we have the voice of the hero. I don't know if he was in the beginning. I think he was, and then the cheetah came after. So ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't Excuse know what he's talking me. about. Excuse <laughs> me. Okay, narrator. Um, That's strange. What? It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Ah. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Mm. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. So I'm trapped. Black hole, as it were. Turn out and leave. We're gonna leave. We're not going in that cabin. You're really keen on wasting yes. everyone's time, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> We're all going in this. Selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Hmm. I'm a little worried because I'm supposed to find pieces of that monstrosity, um, the knife lady, um, but I like how it's changing. It's totally different. We are going to be, I don't care. I'm not killing a princess. Good. Maybe everyone should die. <laughs> um, uh, it's not what they, it's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill. I'm taking this one. Uh, you're not emotionally blackmailing me into this. Quietly continue the path. I love all these, but we're doing this one. <laughs> Everyone, I meant everyone. Good. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. But why don't they come and do it? Why do I have to? And last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you I don't feel like I'm a one. Walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. Well, wait. No, no, no. Fine. Okay, good. We're going Turn away. <laughs> and back down the path you came. Yes. I wonder if I'll just see her in the front of the cabin. Oh, Damn it. Look at that. You're at the cabin again. Narrator. I'm not normally one for super Yeah, thank you. Astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Uh-huh. Well, narr well, at least you can understand that there's something weird about this. No, no, no. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? There we are. Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again, in fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. It's exactly what I'm doing. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's <laughs> ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Well, I'm sorry, narrator. <laughs> I'm taking the wheel here. And here we go. Holy shit, Since that's kind of creepy. Woods, something strange starts to happen. Ooh, the music changed. It's like the monster house all of a sudden. Ooh. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> okay. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner Shoot. of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Ooh, it's it's weird. It's starting to be so weird, like in the in my in the, the audio. But holy you shit! On your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. Well, the narrator here comes the uh, the dilemma: uh, which princess? <laughs> Are you telling me there's a different princess in each single one of these? In every oh my god, it's kind of creepy. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Narrator, don't you think this is odd a bit? Wait, what's going on? Thank you, hero. They're about time. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? Oi. It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility mm -hmm. because you care more about <laughs> irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. It's not about the world or fate. It's more like me against you. Why is that blinking? <laughs> You've doomed us all. You know that, right? Doesn't seem like well, of it. Of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. I did tell you I am okay with everything dying. You lose track of just how long you oh. spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oops. <laughs> okay. Chapter two. Okay, we're still going down this, though. The stranger. Interesting. You're on a path in the woods. Ooh. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin <laughs> is a princess. There's walls. You're here to slay her. <laughs> if you don't, 
it will be the end of the world. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, deja vu. Uh, you aren't kidding. She actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. But I died. The world ended. What am I doing here? Those walls weren't here last time. You can't force me to go to the cabin. Yep, okay. Heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay the prince. Lie. Okay, I like the lie. <laughs> uh, if I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just staying here in the woods forever. Ooh, that's a good one. That's totally different from these. I want it. Well, obviously, I'm not going to obey it. Um, Those kind of get me nowhere. You're kidding. Hmm. Let's explore. Lie. I wonder what happens if I lie. Yep. Okay. Heading. Hmm. Those walls weren't here last time. I'll do this one. Striking the obvious. What are you talking about? I'm I knew sure it. Those walls been there. Oh, it you. Makes sense if you think about it. No. If there weren't any walls in the woods. Someone might have gotten lost. Or Dude. <laughs> bid, someone other than you might have. Nay, Do you have Google? <laughs> have you seen Google Maps? If he doesn't remember what happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's best to keep it that way. Okay, so he still is cheated? I don't know. Oh. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. Ah, the contrarian's back this time, sooner than later. I wonder when we get the cheated. I don't know. Okay, so he's the one who's supposed to kind of be on, like, the weird... He'll switch sides, I think, is what that was. He might have walled off everything but the path mm -hmm. of the cabin, but... Sure, there's plenty of other ways we're gonna ruin his. Gahaha, <laughs> let's go. If by ruining my day, <laughs> shoot, if by ruining everyone's day, exactly. Whatever, yes, yes, yes. I suppose there are plenty of ways you can pull that off. Perfect. <laughs> the world really did end last time, didn't it? Mm -hmm. We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. At least the hero actually said it. But the world hasn't ended yet. Never going to slay her with that attitude. Okay. Those pathetic little voices I'm sorry. Mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Okay, so he does know that there's a little voice in the back of my head. Okay. Hmm. He's just gonna deny it. I think I'm gonna do this one. Oh, that's clever. A little boring, though. Oh, I know, Contrarian. I wish there were something clever, but I know we're just, you know. It's extremely. I'm sorry. Can we really do that? Can we really just do... You want to bet? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go get a book. Let me... I can... Oh, shoot. Oops. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay, we're saving. Um, return. <laughs> I just right-clicked. Um, no, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Uh, but what if I... If it makes me... All right, so it's huh. decided. Even if it's boring... We yeah. Introvert. Okay. Let's go. Congratulations. Mm. Continue to waste everyone's time and do Ooh nothing. Wait, are you still here? Ooh, we can't hear it anymore. I hear the voices. The voices. <laughs> what is that? Weird uh oh. Thing? Ooh, we got like something creeping into our mind or something. Ooh, I think we're getting a jump scare. Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? But how could we? We just stayed in the woods. Unless there's something in the woods. Hmm. Hi. Oh. The world around you is unwound. Unwound, okay. It's physical matter replaced by textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. So, we know we've been here before. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Ooh. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. Are we gonna get killed because she's like, you didn't find me? Ew. Oh. Feelers. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Are these the voices, I wonder? Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag 
claws around across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it does not bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A, wa a wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am your only salvation. Ooh. Denial. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. You're on a path. Ooh. And at the end of that path. Okay. So we're going to do. He he he. Okay. So. That's already a path. That's good. That was a quicker path, which is good. The other one was a lot longer. But it looks like we won't get anything progressive if we do not stay on the path. So we're going to do the one that we've been trying, I've been saying, we're just going to go quiet, go, boom, boom, say nothing. We are voiceless. We are a puppet. And I am the master. You're here to slay her. Okay. Sadly, so continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll find the princess within. Oh, it doesn't even give me another thing. Interesting. It's like it knows. Not even the hero, though. Interesting. Hmm. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and the blade is your implement. Okay. Now, eventually, we'll go in with no blade and see how dumb that move is, but we will take the blade. Again, take we're just gonna the from the table. It'd be rather difficult to yeah. slay the princess. We're gonna just follow the what the narrator says, like a puppet. Entering like a puppet. We'll see if anything the changes. The basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Hello, hero. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Let's continue. We're not saying anything. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Mm -hmm. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. We're stone-hearted. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement <laughs> for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just <laughs> drop it best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Mm, there's nothing. Just drop the blade, but we're gonna slay the princess. Again, we're a puppet. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Stab, stab, stab you. You feel flesh Ooh. easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Hmm. Oh. She didn't expect that. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost uh -huh. embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Hi. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, no, no, sweetie. She's convinced she can't die. Yes. Uh -huh. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Interesting. She believes. He italic believes. Like, again, this is all about her power. But it's over, isn't it? Versus reality. She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. Now the big major difference is that we didn't die. 
So, this is the first time she's just the one who died, not us. But is it over? Really over? Damn, I didn't want to say anything. Ooh, I can't even. Ooh, okay. Of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trip on her sleeve. Of course not. That was too easy. So we can't pick those. Interesting. Yes, exactly. It's over. Is it though? With your work done, you make your way back up the Ugh. stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did mm. kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it mm. was for the greater good. Was. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. The door gonna open. No, leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. You, mm. <laughs> Am I gonna Only get stabby stabby? A world oh. saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Ah, oh, this is the first time I think that the narrator or the voices can see the nothing. What happened? Yeah. Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Narrator, you bitch. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. Oh, he knows. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. He sounds different. I mean, I, I understand he's probably the voice of all the different voices, which is impressive. But it's like he's obviously not the narrator anymore. It's like someone's overtaken him. <laughs> okay, that's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. Hmm... I feel like that's too boring. I won't get much. It'll just end. I'll get this, this one. This isn't an ending. In fact, oh. now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. Mm. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. So I am now voiced. And I am. I am been sent off into the void of nothingness for my reward, my self-sacrifice as a monster, a creature from the forest, that people have decided it was me that shall slay the demon princess. Okay. This is what's <laughs> sure. best for everyone. Trust me. Mm. I have been doing everything he says, so we will. Time passes. Oh. You can't be sure if it's days or months. Or we just stay here. Years or even decades. It's all a wonderful boring blur you've never been happier Psst. hey oh hey we're not just gonna stay here forever right mm. oh explore didn't you hear the narrator i'm happy we're happy hell no do you have any idea how to get us of course we are i like it here <laughs> we're trying to get some content and some lore so while this is a different ending i think we're kind of stuck in this path so I'm with the hero now. I do, but you're probably not going to lie. Are we going to kill each other? We're going to no. Blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Hero. That's not very hero-esque of you. I can hear everything you say. <laughs> yeah. There's only one thing it would want mm -hmm. you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He says dear hero, but I'm not a hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Oh, great. We're going Haunted Mansion style. You hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. Oh. It wants this wonderful place to end. I, I thought I heard a noise, like a ruffling, like the prince is going to fucking... Blah, 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 like, I don't know, Silent Girl style, <laughs> just come running at me like the ring. Do you not? There's more for mm -hmm. us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Okay, I'm not so... Dare. I know it'll just end it, so I'm not... I'm wondering, because then it may proceed in chapters. But the narrator, don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't it be dead? Anything against this hell? You're right. I don't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing, at least for a while longer. Yeah, I'll do what that. a relief. Again, we're a puppet. I suppose we've got With... all the time in the world for you yeah, to change yeah. your mind. yeah, yeah. yeah. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. 
Mm. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Hmm. Interesting. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. Hmm. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, hmm. you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. We're back in the hole the from Stanley Parable. Eventually, <laughs> and Eternal bliss. ...ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift. You simply exist. Happy. Forever. Damn, there it is. Mm. <laughs> you have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Oh. There's no going back now. Past the point of no return. I wanted to read or see more of that. Oh, that was her. So, okay. So this is definitely all linked. Interesting. So, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not happy. And I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Huh. God, it's, I have my headphones in and I swear I just heard someone like open and close a door behind me and there's no one else here. It scared me the fuck out. Oh my God. Okay, didn't you hear the narrator? It says explore though. I need to figure out that. Okay. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Okay, so we're going to go with the hero because she didn't like that. The blade. I uh -huh. can hear everything. He's right. Do you hear? Do you not? Don't you? Uh-huh. We're going back. When it using the blade, you know, kill us. We can't do the option anymore. It's like she's not letting us. Uh, we'll do this. Thank you. Yeah, we're not dumb. We know it's gonna kill us. I made this happy little place for you. <laughs> Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Okay, language narrator. Fine. Well, let's what see happens? what happened to her. The first time since time stopped meaning anything. Throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Now, she, the voice that we heard, is her down the stairs. I wonder if she's there. The princess's Ooh. body is dust and bones. How long will we be there? To slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. She's gonna come up. Her hair's still there. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Duh. <laughs> the end. Nice knowing. You're welcome. Goodbye. Now, chapter two. Haha. <laughs> the Spectre. Here we go. We have an ending. You're on a path in the <laughs> woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement <laughs> of that cabin, you're here to slay. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. But I kill myself. What am I doing here? Okay, no. Wait, has okay. What did I do before? I was just like, or see, I was just voiceless, and I just went to it. Now, okay, so we're back here. So we're not in that hell, so to speak. Huh? What if I do this? I'm sure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're mm. here to stay the princess. He literally told you that a second. Okay, I wonder if we just do the same thing. Mindless. Remember what happened then. Maybe it's okay. That's fine. Cold. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Hello, well, Cold. For whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this. Uh, why should I listen to? Why should I bother doing anything? I don't remember if that was like a thing before. Um. No, we did talk about that. Okay, so again, proceed to the cabin. Voiceless puppet. A warning. Oh. You go any further. She will lie. She will oh. cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. She won't be a problem. Ooh. Yeah. Remember, we're just we're just going. I know this one's going to be different. It's going to be different. The interior yeah. of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of it's dirt different. permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, hmm. banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade hmm. perched on the edge. It's different. The blade is your implement. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. 
Yeah, I think the second time we went through the first uh, playthrough, it was like broken and stuff, like really ragged. But. Like I've been saying, Ooh. she's dead. We killed her already. Ooh, cold is scary. Ooh, God, that voice in the wind is not helping. Okay, take the blade. You take the blade. Yep. Enter the basement. Ooh, mirror just disappears. We already did the mirror thing, so. The door to the basement groans open. Different. Revealing an old banister. Ooh, it's a thing, so it may be the same. Stairwell. Everything Ooh. is coated in a thick layer of dust. And you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in mm -hmm. the stale air. The very building itself Ooh. feels dead. Monster house dead? Oh. If the princess lives here. Slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. It's so interesting that the narrator, his tone, it may be the same thing being repeated over and over, but that's definitely not the same voice or emotion that he did beforehand. The room below is silent. Is she going to say anything? Nobody's here. Naturally. Ooh, the cold is so, like, ooh, it's like, you could tell he was just, I mean, the cold we discussed is definitely someone who just died, you know, cold-blooded type of deal. You can hear her voice in the window. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. No, what will happen if she actually is dead? we'll just have to go down and see. That wasn't even a as choice. Oh, the final step, she is. The form of the princess comes into view. <laughs> a skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrists uh -huh. still bound to the wall by a thick chain. And now he's questioning it. Okay. She's definitely dead. Mm-hmm. It's just like I told you. Before you have Holy a chance shit. to your thought, the top of a head <laughs> appears from underneath the floor. Oh my god. They're not like that. <laughs> She's a ghost! My god. I mean, there's definitely blood, so it's definitely the part where we stabbed her, and it's definitely different. Um, God, that scared me. Anything with the little line is like, oh no, something's gonna happen. Two deep Hi. set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous mm -hmm. skeletal grin. Hey, girl. And finally, Hiya. the rest of the body floats up to join the yep, head. Yep, right there. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Hee <laughs> hee. Ghost! Oh, hero, buckle up. Oh. Wow. Ha <laughs> How absolutely terrifying. Oh my god. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Cold? The voice of the cold is so off-putting. It's like serial killer, killer, like, angst, you know? It's just like, whoa. Every syllable is like, so, oh my god. I feel like I'm the target. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. Hmm. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Uh huh. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Gently running her fingers across your shoulders, down your neck as she circles you. Girl, excuse me? Her touch is cold and ethereal. Formless, yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. Uh-huh. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again. Ooh. If we wanted to. Which is, okay, so we can feel her touch is what that means. Ah, uh, dang, I'm really, I want to put wait and see how things play out, but I'm also interested in what happens if I just slay her again. I'm gonna wait. I'm really curious. She's a ghost. I see you brought that annoying knife again. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? Okay, we're gonna read it. Uh, see, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. It's already happened. We killed her. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? <laughs> She's obviously dead. Uh, do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I should have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it won't be hard to do it again. <laughs> that sounds like something she would say. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, is there any way I can make it up to you? Uh, the people who wanted you dead tricked me and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. 
So I want to do one of them where like we're help we're like on each other's side. I'm still waiting for this fucking love story. Uh, what do you want from me? If I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't end up slaying you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You're dead. Or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me after I killed you? This cabin. I want you to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. I guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. You were going to end the world. I was told you were going to end the world. Okay, clearly saying you, <laughs> slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? Okay, team, I'm out of ideas, thoughts. If you're dead, then there really isn't much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll get going. Ooh. God, there's so many options. There's like 50. God. Hmm. I don't think slaying the princess will work. Because it's she's a ghost. I really don't think so. Huh. I'm tempted with this one. Hmm. I'll talk with her. Uh. Let's see. People who tricked me. Uh. No, I want the one where I died too not long ago. Your dad, unless you die, can even hurt me. No, that's tempting her. After I killed you. Um. Hmm. This one. I want what you took from me. A life. A real life. I just, just want, want to go home. home. Hmm. A way, a way back, back to where I belong. This, this place won't let me leave. At least not alone. Hmm. Huh. At least... So she's obviously a ghost stuck here. You know, the whole typical spiel of you're a ghost, you're stuck where you died, so to speak. I way to back where I belong. This place doesn't let me leave, at least not alone. Hmm. I tried. Before you came back to me, I explored, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I hmm. always wound up right back here. Interesting. So when she became a ghost, she she tried getting out. Maybe we should just leave. Hmm. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? Mm -hmm. We could probably walk out right now and everything would be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. But it'd be dull anyway. Mm -hmm. It's more interesting if we make a choice. Hmm. Cold. <laughs> but you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Hmm. We're trying to get more of our pieces and since... After Holy me. shit. Oh. Fucker. Fucking fuck you. <laughs> then fucking sh shit shivers down my fucking spine. Fuck you. Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm with the narrator. She fuck you. She can <laughs> possess us. I'm very interested. She is. And I but I don't need to explain <laughs> why you can't let that happen. Okay, yeah. It would be would just catastrophic end. if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone hmm. can do to stop her. Would she be able to see Ooh. us if we went along with it? Ooh. Now isn't that an interesting thought? Ooh -hoo. We could finally bring her face to face with him. Ooh. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. Ooh. <laughs> You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Ooh, it seems like we're, like, curious. Like, what happens if she does come in, you know? What if I say no? This would be temporary right now. Uh, <laughs> anything that's kind of, like, obvious. If if I let you in, do I start? No, you won't. You won't. You are just going to become the puppet. Uh, before I agree, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you did the world. No. Sounds great. Do it. <laughs> The answer is no. I need to think on this. Return. Hmm. While I hated that, it was obviously a bad idea. I feel like something that really determines the outcome is how much time we delay something. Like the first time we just went boom, 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 nothing. Killed her, actually. 
But when we like talked with her, it's like she has something prepped up and then she eventually killed us the first round. Okay. Any of these seems just stupid. <laughs> like she's gonna obviously caress you and I don't want another fucking jump scare. Um, Cause it's obviously, no, you won't get controlled. Yeah, go for it. Princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief <laughs> moment as her dark She's gonna do it again. Fuck. Deeply into yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. It's supposed to be a love story. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. Welcome, narrator. <laughs> say hi. You're gonna say hi. How about this? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate you. Ugh. She rushes forward. Yep. Down. Here we go. She's gone. A sharp chill spreads across <laughs> your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I just want to see how she reacts to the narrator. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Oof, oof, oof. The fuck? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain your muscles Ugh. twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of mm. agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Oh, come on. Come on, you. You better get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Yes, yes, let's Eyes keep going. back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? He <laughs> he he. Yes, this is what I wanted. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. He he he. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed to be you? All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass. I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. Um, Who cares what we... Damn it, I accidentally clicked. We exist. That's all that matters. God, the cold can definitely go back at her. Hero, no. Hero is kind of a whoop, a wuss. Uh, but cold, cold, cold can take her. <laughs> you don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. All right, no, let's go. Matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. Hero, don't worry about it. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not no. talking about you. I'm talking about him. Ooh. I wonder if him is directly talking about the narrator. You don't need to know what I am. Haha. <laughs> you just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me doubt. Hehehe. <laughs> I can tell you don't belong here. <laughs> you're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. But they're all the same. So that's rude. So the narrator is like the voice of a narrator or something. Or voice of a storyteller. You're kind of like me, actually. Uh -huh. I'm just going to ignore her. <laughs> Push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I thought she's being so normal. And setting the stage. <laughs> <laughs> because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Is this where the love story begins? Will we? Will a love story go off and to destroy the world? Because if that's it, finally, I just want to see the love story. This is infuriating. Just narrator. You do. You can't leave this place. It's not too late to. Narrator, stop being a third wheel oh. here. We're trying to be a romantic couple. Okay. Slay the princess. I'm guessing it just kill us. Uh, I can't think straight. There's too much noise. No, leave the basement. We're leaving. Your legs, clearly <laughs> with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them. Oh, we still got Will. Towards the stairs. We still got it. Just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. <laughs> but that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. Anarchy. <laughs> we are, we are gonna be anarchy. We're just. Anarchy. You don't know that. Down with the government. You don't know that. I do. Oh shush. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't uh -huh. her leaving won't end the world? Wait, if she goes, has a home to get back to. She doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that 
Wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, that's true. Last time we tried to leave, there was a nothing void. What if she leaves, you know? Like, to end the world, so to speak, doesn't mean we go back to the forest and we go somewhere new. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? Uh-huh. If it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? <laughs> Here we Against go. the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless <laughs> little voices. Oh, you little petty. The body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open And where the narrator is going to just stop us? For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot <laughs> to stop us from leaving this place. Yeah, do you have any control over this? Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. <laughs> maybe he even likes me. Oh. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Don't tell me this is a narrator. And oh. What if I'm the third wheel? Oh ho! She's like, oh, we're kind of the same, me and you. Oh, what if it's the narrator and her? Not at all. Oh. Have you know that I do hate you. Mm -hmm. I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. Oh. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate mm -hmm. and whine. <laughs> this body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. Oh, boo-hoo. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. <laughs> you continue slowly. Please the door, open the door and not like be the nothingness. Dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here... I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. Let's just go. You lift your shaking Let's see. Are we going to get a fucking jump scare? Handle. But you pause before you open it. Exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. No, we're not going to die. No. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? Ugh. It's over. There's no use. Story. Yes, please. Let's see what Let's happens. See what happens next. Open the door. Shit. Nah. <laughs> but exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door grows open. Collapse to the ground. No. You and the princess free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see. He's turning out, but I wanna see. Uh yes? Damn it. I wanna see. <laughs> Voice of the hero or er, yes. Nothing. He's gone. Oh, she's and still here. So is everything else. Damn it, it's the void of nothing. So we did slay him after all. Oh. He had it coming, I suppose. We slayed him. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? We're taking her out of the cabin, we're the end of the world. No, I think once we go in the cabin, it's the end of the world already. We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, uh, are we not part of the mm -hmm. world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends? Ooh, are we going to see the other thing? The other world, but not in it, or... We never be a part of it. Oh god, the hero. His, his mind is going haywire right now. I wonder if this is a part of her that we needed to bring. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Hitchhiker, pick up a passenger and take her to a destination. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare at you. Oh, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. I literally think this is the only way she could get out. Don't mention it. I think this, this is where, where I'm meant to be. be. Yep. There it is. There's another one. Oh, interesting, actually. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? No point. Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is not the end for you, but it's not an end for me. Ooh. I would have kept them in the dark if I were you. Oh. That was me saying it, and the voice of the call is like, you should have kept them in the dark. 
What is that supposed to mean? Ooh. Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Ooh. I feel bad for the hero. Right, we're gonna see our approach. We're gonna see the thing again. Silence as you reach for it. They're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. So now the voices are gone. Hello. The bloat. You've grown. Oh? You've grown. Is it that I can see more of myself? I look hideous still. Interesting. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceeds as a cabin. Oh. You were at the cabin. Approach her. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me wither? When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. But your commitment now is final. Your ability mm. to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. Mm. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Okay, so this is like, it's putting her astral form, so to speak into that little skeleton. So now we have to figure out a way to bring her human body? Flickering lights in hmm. empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Maybe we need to befriend her. Are you the same being as before, as you were before? How much have you changed? Uh, what does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Uh, when I go back, if it's as if an invisible wall closes around me, why can I not do the same things I've done before? Huh. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I met, thank you. You have been kinder to me why? Uh, what do you want me to bring you next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? Uh, I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel about me? These vessels I am bring, I may bring to you. Her, to you. Uh, I've heard them. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? I'm ready to go back. Interesting. Damn. Okay. So... We'll do this one. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Okay. My joy so guess. is to see what you choose. There are hmm. no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Hmm. Okay. I'll try and bond with her a little bit. Um, how's it feel? Eyes close in reflection. Mm hmm Perspectives meld together. And the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Hmm. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, when I go back... Okay. I'll say why. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to grow, change or grow? Uh, maybe this one. Uh, how many vessels? No, she won't tell me. Uh, I don't want to hurt you. Okay, we are. The vessels are shaped by memories of you. Hmm. But their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more. And any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price hmm. for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. Hmm. The wounds okay. I suffered carved texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be hmm. alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Huh. 
Okay, so... Those still terrify me. I accidentally clicked those. Um, I'll do this one and see if she says it. If I am to be an ocean, of course. Some more. Okay, I got it. <laughs> uh, should have expected you that. Have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Damn. I wonder how long this is. I'm gonna say I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return. But it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Bye bye. We'll meet again. <laughs> Snap snack. Okay. <laughs> but wait, actually, okay, wait, wait. You're on a path. Wait, wait, shush, shush, shush. An Evanson vessel. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say something because what um this kind of tells us. Like when, like she's like when I'm ready to go back, and she's like, okay, like you know, pushes us away. Uh, it's the sound of a mirror breaking. So maybe the mirror is the way we like go in and out, you know, kind of like a door. But um, yeah. In any case, let me quickly see what that was. Um, okay. So if you guys can see what I mean, so this is like the page, and I see all the achievements and stuff. So there's the ones that we've gone. Just so much that I don't think like we've even. Yeah, there is 97. We have nine achievements. There's 97. So I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, depending if he does well or not, then I'll keep going. Um, if you guys like it, we'll keep going. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you made it to this end, thank you so much. It helps a lot. And I appreciate the love this has gotten so far. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing how this goes, and if you liked and enjoyed the video in any way, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want more and you want to keep in touch with it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And with that, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.